What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today we're gonna to be unboxing the Roku Voice Remote Pro. So this is the pro version of the voice remote with the headphone jack and a few extra interesting features we'll talk about. Um, we're gonna unbox that today and check it out. Before we get started, if you're not watching this, before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that join or thanks button below. So into the actual unboxing itself. Now, this remote is not just good as an upgrade on its own, but if you've used some of the old uh, Roku TVs or even the new Roku TVs, uh, they use infrared uh, remotes. They're very thin, they're very light, they don't have the headphone jack, and they use infrared. So I've had a ton of issues actually using those remotes when you actually try to use it. Uh, sometimes it won't register. You have to just point it directly at the TV. Sometimes I have to lift it up above my monitors to make sure it actually picks it up. Not a good look, basically. Um, this one... You can point it in the other direction and it's just going to work. It's amazing. I have one with my other Roku. They come with the uh, Roku Ultras and the higher-end Roku. A few, a few high-end Roku models in the soundbar have it, I think. Um, otherwise, you can buy them for about 30 bucks, and that's what I did. I just got it separate because my TV came with the Roku built-in, but the remote isn't that great. So, yeah, here's the unboxing. We're opening it up. Right there. So it actually comes with the cable. I wasn't expecting the cable. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. What's in the box? What else is in the box? And uh, we'll check that out shortly. So here is what's in the box. Uh, the quick start guide, including the information about how to pair it. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on screen in case anyone's is missing that one. You can take a look at that, pause it, you know, see what you got to do. And then on this side, that's the information that's there. Great. And then uh, the standard legal information, all products kind of have those, not too interesting. Let's put it back in the box. Nice catch, Mike. I'm <laughs> gonna put this right here. And here is the main event. Let's go ahead and take these out and see what it comes with. We do have the remote control, which has a plastic on it. We'll take that off shortly. And then it does come with a cable. I was not expecting a cable to come with this. It has a nice little Velcro wrap on the cable. Very nice. And it's uh, not removable. It looks like it's like melted on so that it stays on the cable. Oh, never mind. Speaking of, comes right off actually. Um, so you can use this on other ones, but it'd have to be like a thin one. But yeah, it, it comes with its own uh, cable management solution. This is just a standard uh, micro USB, it looks like. So is this chargeable instead of using batteries? This is a rechargeable... Roku remote? Interesting. Yeah, there is no battery box on the bottom of this. So this is a rechargeable Roku remote as opposed to the ones that sometimes come with the Roku Ultras or maybe it's a past generation that it has two AA batteries. Normally they have two AA batteries. This one does not. I'm not sure how much I like that because um, I have a lot of batteries pre-charged already. Um, you know, I just have a bunch of AA's and AAA's that I keep charged and uh, whenever one runs out, I can just toss them back in. I really like that. But I mean, I guess it's okay that it's uh, rechargeable um, because you don't have to keep on switching batteries out and you can just leave it plugged in when you're not using it. But that is kind of annoying. Not everyone's going to remember. We'll see what the battery life is like on that to see if that justifies the change. So here's the remote itself. And every time you buy it, it's going to have a different set of buttons. So if you notice on the bottom of the box, there's actually no apps on the bottom four buttons. That's actually because they change their... Uh, I guess, collaborations with companies. I'm sure they get a, a good portion of money from all the devices that they put out with the default app. So Netflix, Disney, Apple TV Plus, and Discover Plus are on this one. But on my other Roku, it was Hulu and uh, some other apps as well. So they have different uh, plans with different people that just depends on what you're going to get on these. The reason I don't really like that isn't just because it's, you know, obviously just to make more money for them. But because you have one and two, this number one and two are programmable buttons, which means either one of these four could have also been programmable. If they would have just given us the option to actually program each one of these to our liking, even if it has the wrong icon, uh, just letting us program all six of them, that would have been a lot better. But for now, you can only do one and two. I'll make a video on how to do that because it's actually super useful. Any command that you say into the remote, you can turn into a custom button press. So you can just press one or two and it'll do whatever you asked it to do. So very cool. On the left side, you have the mute and the volume buttons. I guess if you're looking at it, that would be on the right side. 
And then on the left side, we have the listening button for uh, when it's actually going to be listening for voice commands, as well as the headphone output here. Very nice. And then nothing in the back but the pairing button and a little speaker for when you're looking for the remote because you can press the button on your Roku and make it find your remote or you could do it from your phone as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll do a more in-depth analysis of this. We'll check it out, we'll try it out and I'll release a video on how to do those uh, custom command buttons on one and two here in the future but until then thank you so much for watching have a great day short fuse for ignorant minds you can learn a thing or two about a new device unbox and kudos we rock that pseudo administrative elevator command we build it up or break it down in that virtual lab from conversations to games to interviews with a broader view he keeps it fresh always bring something new it's mike the tech mike the tech uh, mike the tech the architect uh. Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect.